I'm woman. I bleed. I go, I lift heavy even when bleeding. Sorry, I bet that was so loud in the mic, sorry. Today's video, I'm gonna take you through a day in my life where I am on my <gasps> period. Oh. Just started, I haven't been tracking my cycle, so it was a little bit of a surprise. I thought it would be a great opportunity because it was unexpected that I was going to be training on the rag today, so let's talk about what we do. <laughs> Let's talk about what we do, how I accommodate my program, how I change my program. Do I cycle sync? And we're gonna address some of those things because haven't you seen? Cycle syncing is all the rage right now. Everybody's doing it. Everybody who's anybody's doing it, except for me. I don't cycle sync. That's good. Yeah. What phase are you in right now? Uh, I'm at the end of my period. <laughs> okay, let's get started. I have no format for this video, so we're just gonna jump right in. Before we get into this conversation, let me just let you know, everyone's period is different, okay? There's a lot of inter-individual variability and there's a lot of changes month to month. If a life event happens, let's say you're really stressed, um, that's gonna mean your period is gonna be different. Could be worse, could be fewer negative symptoms of menstruation. Also, if you have a child, it's gonna be different. If you have a second child, it's gonna be different. If you breastfed for a long time, you might not have a period. So there are so many different things in between us as people who all have periods and it makes it really hard to study. So when we're talking about things like cycle syncing, there's currently no true evidence that suggests that we should cycle sync. And if you didn't know, cycle syncing is the idea, at least what people refer to it on the internet, that you should change your strength training protocol and your training protocol in order to go with the different phases of your period, of your cycle. I'll put on screen some popular ones, what they suggest, but there is no evidence that shows us that that's what we should do. However, I don't say that to discredit you if you have really negative period symptoms or really negative symptoms at other parts in your cycle. The issue is I can't tell you, oh, everyone feels like shit on their first day of their period, which is my experience, because People are different. Some people feel terrible for five days during menstruation. Some people only menstruate for two days. So it is really hard to design a program that underlies principles of what we know to be true that also is in accordance to the many different experiences of menstruation that we have, okay? Sorry, that's a long intro to this video, but let me show you what I do, but let's actually train while we do it. Uh, biggest symptom that's not physical for me is I'm just like, oh, this is a great excuse not to train. <laughs> this is like the best excuse I have not to train, but I'm going to, I'm going to, and pump will make me feel better. Not feel better, but pump will amp me up and it will give me a pump so that I'm more motivated to train. What flavor? Ooh, good question. If you guys been watching the last couple of videos, watermelon pump is my go-to. Watermelon's my favorite flavor. Just kidding, I still, I love it. But strawberry kiwi is, knocks watermelon out as the top flavor. Strawberry kiwi is the new top flavor for me. Also, Greta agrees and Ryan agrees. The girls on the other side, I don't know what they're smoking. <laughs> because they did not say strawberry kiwi is their favorite. Different strokes for different folks, but three out of the five agree. Strawberry kiwi is the best flavor so far. Ah. Okay, let's do a warm up. Okay, while I'm warming up, let me just briefly explain what people mean when they say cycle syncing for the most part, at least from what I've seen. So the idea is that throughout the month of training, you have periods of lower intensity, and then you have periods of high intensity as you get closer and closer to ovulation. So first day of your period in the cycle, <laughs> you've got first day of your period over here, and then you've got first day of ovulation over here, and then there's a circle. That's the cycle. Okay, so what they're saying is that you're strongest towards ovulation and then you're weakest towards menstruation. So what they do is experiment or manipulate intensity. So you're doing intense workouts, heavy lifts over here by ovulation, and then things are really light. We're doing some yoga, we're doing stretching and recovery work over here. Now, I'm a fan of macro cycle training, which if you were able to, you could set up a deload so that the deload would line up to where you feel weakest. The issue is not everybody feels strongest or weakest during that time. <laughs> um, so that's the basic overview of what cycle syncing is. Okay, I'll warm up. 
My symptoms of menstruation, back cramps, fatigue. I ran this morning and I was like, why do I feel like shit today? It's, it was a tough run. I can notice a difference. Those are my symptoms. <laughs> I feel like my um, resting heart rate too, or at least when I'm running and I have a heart rate monitor on, I notice that it takes more effort to keep my heart rate in the range that I want it to be in when I'm Running. Today I'm gonna do our feet up close grip bench press and our overhead press is our main movement of the day. I typically on this day of the week would do a lower body session, but since as we have discovered, it's the first day of my cycle, I'm just gonna switch things around knowing that I can be flexible with the days of the week, knowing that I might feel a little bit better tomorrow. So I'll save squats when I feel better tomorrow. Okay, first exercise is a banded pullover. We've got a two second pause at the bottom here. Back in my bag and I gotta brag, I do this shit for real When we was down and we had nothing, we had to share a meal We put the shit in overdrive with no steering wheel Shorty throw that thing back in a pair of hills Yeah, she be riding on that thing like a Ferris wheel Yeah, I love them dark skin, brown skin, caramel You know I had to bring a oh, tea That's good Yeah, that exercise, sometimes you'll see um, some coning in my abdomen Anything overhead, you'll see that more often That's more specific for my mamas, my people who done given the birth. Next, we've got a seated cable row. There's only six reps each set, so I'm gonna try and go a little heavy. So this is just a warm up set. Yeah, menstruation yeah, mommy, yeah. I'm back my menstruation yeah. muscle mommy. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. I'm feeling good on my lap pullovers. I'm gonna switch to a different attachment. You can actually do a lap pullover with many different attachments. I don't get too caught up in what attachment I'm using, especially if I'm at a gym and it's busy and I just need to go boom, 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 boom. I don't wanna mess about. So I really love this handle. This is like a wide Y strap. So same thing, you just have the same hip hinge for the lap pullover. Why did I put it so heavy? So you have the same hip hinge, make sure you've got a stable base with your feet, and then you're keeping the arms straight and using the lat to bring hands from up top over your head down to the thighs. So since this is so wide, I'll even be able to get a little bit more range of motion than I would if it were a straight bar. I'm back in my, yeah, I'm back in my bag, yeah. I'm back in my, this is my, back in my bag flow. Uh. Back again, yeah, we keep on stacking, it was happening. Everything in Gucci got me feeling like I'm dapper then. Life has been a movie, yeah, so shout out to the cameraman. Pull up to the scene, it's going down like an avalanche. Steady going up like a travel plan. Home is something if you guys didn't know, cycle syncing is bullshit in my opinion. <laughs> I don't think there are any principles that are proven or shown in evidence that means that we should cycle sync in the way that I described, okay? Now, you can always play with the intensity of your training. Um, hopefully, your training is based in science already, which could mean a couple things. One, it's super specific. So. Based on the example that I gave you, and based on the example that we often hear about cycle syncing, it lacks a lot of the specificity that we need in order to get better at lifting, to get proficient and efficient at movements so that we can get stronger, get more jacked, okay? So cycle sync by all means if you want, but realize that it's usually in direct conflict with the basis of strength training strength training science and what we know to be true about strength training. And that includes research on men and women, okay? In this workout, I'm gonna give you guys a couple of ideas of things that I do when I'm on my period, when I'm not feeling my strongest a day like today, and how I make adjustments so that I'm good to go, okay? The first thing I mentioned is that I'll swap around the days based on my worst feeling day, which would usually be the first day of my period. So today, instead of doing deadlifts or heavy squats, I'm doing a bench day. Lower intensity overall, less movement and pressure on my pelvic floor because grid's here, so I don't wanna embarrass him, all right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Pelvic floor and in my uterus is shedding a layer, okay? So you feel me. Um, anyway, let's do some band pull-aparts. 
ba da ba da ba da ba da ba uh, Next superset includes band pull-aparts. So we start with an overhand grip and do 10 band pull-aparts, and then we switch to a supinated grip and do 10 band pull-aparts. I don't club hers. Give the word if it's a cinch, you love for gimme. Still have emotion, dog, so why would I slow it? Make it rain on them, bust a the band, then you throw it. We were steady having it, even at our lowest. High speed roll, run and keep my motor going. People feel away, but they don't show it. Gotta watch the people that surround you that you grow it. They be coming around you with some plans to steal your moment. Soon as I she be like, baby, where you going? Never slowing down. It's enough to go around. Yeah, you probably knew it's then, but really, you don't know it's now. Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> that felt heavier than I expected, which is a good segue. Cycle thinking is basically a form of regulation and a good strength program will already have some sort of auto regulation built into it. So by auto regulation, I mean things like rate of perceived exertion or something like reps in reserve. So stronger by the day, my program today has feet up close grip bench press, which is what I'm doing now. And it's written as three sets of seven with three reps in reserve. So sometimes you'll have a strict percentage that you need to hit or a strict number that you need to hit. Sometimes it'll be three sets of seven at 125 pounds. But today it's written with auto regulation. So I get to choose based on how I feel, how heavy I'm gonna go that day. It could feel really awesome and then I go heavier or it could feel really crappy and then I kind of hit the bare minimum. So because I am experiencing menstruation and maybe typically I don't feel as strong, I use the auto-regulation that's already built into a good strength program to regulate how heavy I go. And that's that. And that's all there is to it. That's the T. That's the T, sis. You don't need no cycle sinking, do some yoga today. I'm not doing no fucking yoga today. I'm woman. I bleed. I go, I lick heavy even when bleeding. Sorry, I bet that was so loud in the mic. Sorry. It was either chase a dream or go to jail, but none of us ain't going. Hey, we going back to back on them like we here, we and we Riley. This that back in my back, low, we back again so highly. This that back in my back, low, we back to change the climate. This that back in my back, low, we bring the force like Tommy. I think that was three reps in reserve. Yeah, okay, I'll take it. A lot of times when athletes self-report, um, a lot of them do say that they notice an impact of their menstrual cycle on performance. However, when it's studied in a lab, it's not really shown that any specific phase points to one impact. There could be a couple different reasons for this, and it's hard because it does sound like you're being gaslit because so many people report that they notice a difference. So for me to just say like, well, it's not shown in any studies. One, a test in the lab versus a test out on the field. Those are two different experiences and it is really hard to create the same environment when you're being like actively and scientifically studied. So it's not the same as a game. It's not even the same as a practice. They're very different experiences. Next thing with this is sometimes we conflate physical discomfort with an effect in our performance when you can experience physical discomfort and still perform well. So my back is cramping right now, but that doesn't always mean that my bench is going to suffer because of it. So keep that in mind when you're looking at something like cycle syncing and those two reasons also make it super hard to study and super hard for us to have a answer, a general answer for everyone. Boom. Next lift is our overhead press. If you didn't know, we are in a body part split for Stronger by the Day right now. So it's kind of nice for this day <laughs> and kind of this topic that we're talking about. You do get a chance because upper body days are a little less intense. It takes less time to set up because you're not lifting as overall intensity heavy. I like it because some days you don't really be feeling like squatting or deadlifting. So you get an overhead press and bench day. I love it. I love it. Alrighty. This is 65 first warm up. Second, second warm up. It's enough to go around. Yeah, you probably know it's then, but really, you don't know it's now. Blood is showing tell, but all my know me well. It was either chase a dream or go to jail, but none of us ain't going. Hey, going back to back on them like we here, we and we ride. Feels kind of nice. 
I'm gonna be repeating myself a lot in this video, but since we know that everyone's period's different, your period from month to month is gonna be different, it's hard to say, do exactly this, everyone should do it. We do know, however, that we can, with lifestyle changes and diet changes, manipulate how hard our period hits us. Some people have very few period symptoms. Some people have massive debilitating period symptoms. Some people have PMDD, which fucking sucks, okay? So since we're all different, we do know that what I'm gonna tell you, things that affect and may make your period symptoms be less dramatic are things like a healthy diet, enough sleep, lower stress. Chest, baby activity <laughs> and there are some supplements that are proven to lower the symptoms of your menstrual cycle um, something like chase berry which is found in our product flourish if you guys want to check it out did i say diet lifestyle exercise be a healthy person for the most part healthy lifestyle choices are going to make it so that your period affects you a little bit less not saying that it's going to remove all symptoms but Generally, diet, nutrition, things that we know are good for us may help lessen your symptoms. Okay, is this loaded? Okay, this is my first set of overhead press. Oh God. We're doing another experiment in today's video. We're gonna see, am I weaker on my period? So another way that we use an auto-regulation is with an AMRAP test. So um, for my overhead press today, I've been doing sets of six, and I have two sets of six and then one set of six plus, meaning that my minimum to hit is six, but let's see if I can go for as many reps as possible. The range that I'm in is six to 10. And if I were to hit 11 reps, then that would trigger in our app a training max increase. So this is kind of like a test to see, am I stronger today? Even though I'm on my period, strong enough to raise my training max, to basically ace my little test that I have today and keep moving things forward so that next week the weights are a little bit heavier. What do we say? Any bets? Grid? I think I can hit 11. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Easy? I wouldn't go that far, but I think I can do it. <laughs> yep. For 12. I went for 12 just to prove you can be strong on your period. <laughs> Not that that's my like one rep max test or anything, but it was a test that I'm pushing myself and I'm able to even push really, really close to failure. I mean, I failed on that one. So everyone's gonna be different. Not that my experiment shows you how you're gonna perform in the gym, but it is possible to overperform and to perform your best even when you're in a state of a cycle where you might not feel your best. Perfect example of this, of course, that some people find motivational is when Michael Jordan had the flu and he had an amazing game. I don't know how many, po how many points, yeah, do you remember? No. Okay, not. anyway, <laughs> I thought maybe you know basketball, so. <laughs> but, you know, there's that classic story of how he was feeling really terrible and he ended up just performing incredibly that night, even having flu-like symptoms. So your physical symptoms and your physical like well-being even doesn't always need to be an indicator of how well you're gonna perform. People can perform in spite of menstruation symptoms or PMS symptoms and perform really, really well. And actually when it's studied in a lab, it's shown that people still can perform well, even in that phase of feeling not their best. All right, 
Next we have a three position tricep burnout. The exercises are a close grip push up, overhead tricep extension, and then it's programmed as bench dips, but we're gonna go ahead and see if we can do regular dips. Um, you do eight reps each exercise, and that's one set. We got four sets. Alrighty, let's go. Four sets? Who wrote this? Probably know it's them, but really you don't know it's now. Blood is showing tell, but all my know me well. It was either chase a dream or go to jail, but none of us ain't going, going yeah. back to back on them like we here, we and we rally. This that back in my back flow, we back again so highly. This that back in my back flow, we back to change the climate. This that back in my back flow, we bring the force like Tommy. Back in my oh god, back in my back flow, back in my yeah, yeah, back in my back, yeah. Oh god, I'm back in my back, yeah, yeah. I'm back, in my back. Back this is my back of my bag flow, uh. Yeah, not for real. Double lie. But it's 2% of a curl, so. Oh, shit. <laughs> not a joke. Three-second negative. Our next exercise are cable curls with a three-second negative. I like to use this sort of easy curl attachment over the straight bar. Our last exercise in this one is an ab walkout. So this is gonna be a core focused movement. It's a sort of like, it's an anti-extension movement. So very similar to an ab rollout, but instead of having the wheel that rolls you out, you're gonna slowly take your hands and walk away, away, away from the body. And back. It's almost harder than an ab wheel because an ab wheel you can get some momentum and sort of sink into that end longest range position. Oh, but you can't do that here. Oh God. Okay. That's the last exercise for today's workout. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you enjoyed my perspective on cycle syncing. Let me know what you guys think. Is it something that you've experimented with? Do you do things that I do in order to make things work without necessarily cycle syncing as it is referred to on social media a lot of the times? Let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.